in this session we are going to discuss turing machine now what is the how the turing machine can be defined what is the definition of turing machine everything we shall discuss here a turing machine aim is a seven tuple that is q sigma tau delta q0 b and f so these are the seven tuples are there okay now let me explain each one of them what is q that is quite well known q is a finite non empty set of states what is tau tau is a finite non empty set of tape symbols so there will be one tape and the tape will have different cells and at different cells will be having some symbols and all those symbol set will be kept in tau and out of those symbols one symbol will be blank so b is an element of tau is a blank so b is the blank okay so this blank is with this b and sigma is a finite non empty set of input symbols or input alphabets sigma is a subset of tau that means sigma will contain some of the tape symbols but sigma cannot contain blank character so blank is not a subset of uh, is not is not a belonging to sigma that means blank is not included in sigma okay so that is our uh, definition of q tau b and sigma now we are going to discuss delta delta is the transition function mapping the states of the finite automaton and tape symbols and movement of the read write head so that as example q cross tau that means what is cross cross means cartesian product what is q that is a set of states what is tau that is a set of tape symbols so what is q cross tau that means state and tape symbol all possible combinations which will map onto q cross tau cross l r what is l r l stands for left and r stands for right that means after reading the input string and depending upon the tape symbol and the current state it will go to the next state maybe the these two states might be same so it will go to the next state and what symbol it is going to write to that particular cell so that is a tau that is a tape symbol and whether it will move towards the left or towards the right that will be there so q cross tau maps into q cross tau cross lr so in this way delta has been defined what is delta delta means the transition function q0 belongs to capital q is the initial state and f is a subset of q is a set of final states so that is a subset of q so in this way all the seven tuples we have defined for this particular turing machine obviously the conception will be more clear if you go for the example the acceptability of a string is decided by reachability from the initial state to some final state so final states are also called as accepting states so reaching from the initial state to the final state for a certain input then we shall say that the input string has got accepted by the turing machine delta may not be defined for some of the elements of q cross tau so let us suppose we are having three q elements and four tau elements so q cross tau can have 12 combinations out of them for certain combinations the delta might not have been defined so it is mentioned in that one so this is the definition of a turing machine so let me come with this particular diagram so here you see there is a tape this is a tape and these are the cells the tape will have some finite length and this these are the cells are there each and every cell will contain some symbol we know that in case of tau the blank is also allowed the blank is also allowed 
So in, in class of tau, so I'm just representing blank so that I, ha I, ha I can have the parity. Okay, so blank is also allowed in the, in the tau, in the tep symbol. Now let us suppose that is one input string a1, a2, a3, a4. Input string can be the characters can be also of the tep symbols obviously, but input string cannot contain blank space. So this is my finite state automaton. So depending upon the current state, depending upon the symbol read, I shall decide the next state of this finite automaton, finite state automaton. Symbol to be written to this particular cell from where the symbol was read and now the reader head movement either towards the right or towards the left. That means two things will decide three things. Just listen. Two things will decide three things. What are the two things? The present state and the symbol read from the cell. And what are the three things? Next state, symbol to be written there and movement of the read red head either towards the left or towards the right. And that that is why the transition has been defined in this way. How many elements are there? We are having the two elements. One from, th from the state and one from this particular tau symbols. And we are having the next state, the symbol to be written on, on, uh, onto the tip and movement of the read red head either towards the left or towards the right. So now in this way, this particular Turing machine will be operating. And from any initial state, from initial state, if you can reach to the final state, any one of the final states, then the string will get accepted. So that's why final states are also known as acceptable, accepting states. So in this way, we have defined Turing machine. In our next videos, we will be continuing with this particular Turing machine with more clear concepts. Please watch all, all those videos because they will be in the continuation of this one. Thanks for watching this one.